my name is Margaret Wairimo. I am the CEO of Cosmetica Store. I am a makeup artist, a makeup advisor, a makeup entrepreneur, and I'm a millennial on the move. What I do at a Cosmetica Store, on a normal day, say Monday to Friday, when I do not have a, probably I do not have a makeup uh, client, I sell products. Mostly I'm on the internet checking trends uh, because you have to keep up with the trends that are coming up every every other day. On the other side, say on a Saturday, most of the time I do uh, bridal makeup. So I usually wake up at 3 a.m. and uh, I'm at the, um, where the bride is at 4 a.m. I do their makeup, probably I'm done by 8 a.m. I come back to the store, sell products, that's all I do. I would uh, describe myself as an ambivert because I'm neither an introvert or an extrovert. Because uh, this job entails you talking to clients so many times. So uh, you have to talk to clients, you have to advise clients, you have to understand clients. So you are either a teacher one day, the next day you are a therapist to a client, the next day you are just a friend to a client. So you are so many things just in one. You're not just a makeup artist. So um, so many things in one. But at the same time, there are those days that I just want to be, you know, just me without people around. Obviously on this job, you'll get uh, those days so many times. But um, what I've learned over the years that I've done is uh, I've worked as a makeup artist. Sometimes you have to fake that smile. You just have to fake that smile, you have to listen to that client, you have to, you know, you have to look like you're happy, you have to, you know, you just have to be there, you just have to be present at all times, and when they're gone, you can just be yourself. For me, looking good when I'm going to um, attend to a client, it's because for a client first, for a client to trust you, they have to see the work that you're doing on them on you first. So a client cannot trust you if they are not seeing that work, especially if it's a new client who does not know you, who you've never worked with. They have to see uh, your work on you first. Second thing, I think most of the time, this is something I've told myself, I don't know if it works on other people, but this is something I've, worked on my, uh, I've always told myself. Sometimes when your education is not working in a room, your beauty will always sell you very fast. Beauty will sell you so fast, uh, if you're looking good somewhere, you're confident. Uh, even when you've not even spoken to anyone, they're actually going to include you, they're going to remember you. So you have to be, you have to make yourself uh, memorable to clients and even people in the room because you never know who your next client is. I'm always telling myself uh, the next client is in the room where you are or with the people that you're talking to or even with the client that you're working on. Growing up, I was such a talkative and confident kid. I remember uh, before I, the first time I joined nursery school, by then we used to call them nursery school. I think right now they call them something different. I went to school very early. Uh, I think I joined school when I was like two years and some few months old. We had gone for a neighbor's graduation with my mom. And then one of the teachers, you know how teachers pray with kids, came to us for uh, came and asked my name. She probably thought I was going to be shy, but I was just there. My name is Margaret Wairimo. I am two years old. My father is da 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 da. My mama, uh, my mom is da da da. You know, they were so surprised. And uh, the teacher was like, you know what? You should bring this kid to school. And that's how I joined school very early. Uh, in high school, I was the, I was more of the artistic, I, the artistic kid. I was. That kid who was uh, either, you know, drafting letters for other students. I was probably on drama festivals, uh, not as the one who is uh, maybe acting or reciting poems. I was actually the one who was doing the backdrops, which is very funny. I did it from Form 1 to Form 4 during backdrops. The teacher knew about me with the, you know, the arts the side of it. I was the one who was going for science congresses. So basically, I was uh, not only a confident kid, I was also, I, art was on my hand, I was in my hand, it's just that I didn't know it's something, there's something that can come out of it. Growing up, we never, most of us, probably right now, but most of us never thought uh, beauty is, is a career that you can take. 
and also like uh, growing up I think most our parents most of the parents or most adults would tell us when you grow up what you want you know you want to be an architect you want to be a doctor you want to be a lawyer but no one said something about you know you can be a beautician and make it in life you can be an entrepreneur we never learn about those things those are the things that you come to learn as a as an adult because for me it took me to uh, go to college, do a diploma in communication, actually even work in the media because at one point I did work in the media for for like a year. I used to work for Milestone Visuals. Uh, we used to do mostly events, video, video coverage and editing. I was mostly on the editing side. And um, it took me meeting a client that we worked for who was... Um, uh, it was like who was in the line of the of, of beauty and where I actually got like um, my second job so I'll just go back to my point where I said in a room you have to do your best to be memorable because it's either your next employer is there or your next client is there so that's why I met my next employer before I actually opened my own shop So, um, I wouldn't say my parents had much to say about what I was going to do because I actually moved out of home immediately I got my first job. So uh, most of the decisions that I've made as an adult, it's, uh, they've come directly from me. So my parents, I would say they've come from a place where they are like, if you can take a specific line and uh, excel in it, then we're okay. In, uh, we are okay with it. For my mom, when I, I decided to start Cosmetica, I was actually very scared. And I remember my mom had come to visit me and I told her, you know what, I actually want to uh, open a um, cosmetic shop, but I'm so scared because I feel like I'm going to lose all my money, all the money that I've saved. I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm just scared. I was so scared. I was scared of failing. I was scared of losing the money. I was scared of not getting clients. I was scared of not knowing where I'm going to start. But my mom was like, you know what? You never know about something unless you start. You never know if you're going to fail unless you try that thing. So just go try and uh, be in the mindset of abundance. You have to know that you're going to excel in what you're going to start. You're going to get clients. You're going to get your money back, maybe double, triple, or even more. You're going to open other shops. And also, just put God first. Pray all the time. Pray. If you're not sure about something, pray about it. We never grow up knowing what we want to do. We want we want to do so many things at the same time. Uh, and you'll find most of us millennials, we do not know. At the end of the day, you get to a point where you do not know what you want to do or which line you want to, uh, to follow. So I think parents come as the roadmap. You know, guiding us, introducing us to people, and even give, giving us like a network. You know, introducing us to people who are more educated than us, who are doing better than us, or even people who are going to impact us. So even parents even praying for you is important. If they do not know even anyone, even just praying for you is very important. One of the biggest highlight is uh, opening my own cosmetic shop as a person who is still in her 20s uh, but I'm going to tell you about that after this short break. Welcome back. My name is Margaret Oerimo. I am the CEO of Cosmetica Store. As I had mentioned earlier, my highlights so far is opening a business when I'm still in uh, my 20s. Um, 
I would say this job has, actually this business has taught me so many things that I didn't know and uh, most of the time we think like uh, opening a business is like a walk in the park, you're going to excel immediately, it's like um, you sleep the next day, you're successful, but you get to know it's, it's a work in progress. You have to work hard, you work to work more hours than you used to work when you're employed. So and also you get to, you get to learn that most of your clients are going to be strangers. That's something we, we actually learn when, we, when you've opened a business. And also like um, for me, I would say this business has, has gotten to a point where most of the clients are in their 40s late 30s 40s 50s those are the clients who have supported me the most because you'll find that uh, most of the clients here when they come they're like oh you've opened a business this is really nice so let me support you let me open the business for you which i don't know i'm always amazed and uh, surprised at the same time so another highlight i've also gotten to work with uh, dr c dr Catherine of samantha bridal so that was like uh, my biggest client ever i I've also, in the middle of me working here, I've also gotten to meet my mentor who, who have also guided me through the job. I think it's easier when you work with a mentor. When you have a mentor, it's easier for you to be able to navigate through the job. Uh, the biggest lesson I've learned so far is don't be scared of failure. You'll fail so many times, you'll fail so many times, but every time you have to, you know, put yourself Put yourself, dust yourself, and wake up, pick up the pieces, and keep moving. Because that will not be your first failure. You'll fail at the start, you'll fail in the middle, you'll go to the next step, you'll fail, you'll fail again. Don't be scared of failure, because you'll fail so many times. At the end of the day, you're going to win, but you'll fail. Working with difficult, uh, with difficult clients is something that you're going to expect in this job. Any day, any time, there are those clients who are not going to like you, there are those clients who are going to be rude, there are, those guy, uh, there are those clients who are not going to be satisfied with your service. But you take it positively. Just uh, give the best customer service ever. Don't be rude, don't uh, talk back, just you know, stand with what you believe in. What I do to make sure I'm one step ahead is learning new skills all the time, making sure that you are on social media all the time because there will be new trends coming up every now and then so you have, you cannot be left behind, you cannot learn something and say you know I'm a makeup artist, I've gone to school to you know to learn about makeup artistry so I'm good to go. No, there are so many skills, uh, there are so many trends that come up, there is different, uh, you learn there are very many different ways of uh, doing eyebrows that you never knew so you have to be on top of the game another thing that you have to learn is you have to learn all the brands they have to be on the tip of your fingers a client cannot ask you about a certain brand and you do not know you have to learn different types of skins there is like oily dry combination you have to learn all different kind of skins and how to work around them so you cannot just apply you cannot just apply the same kind of makeup on everybody. Everybody cannot go out there looking like you. I am hoping uh, soon I can be able to open another store, another branch. I just don't want to just stay still here. You know, have one shop and that's it. Also hope that Cosmetica store can be a household name. I just want to be in that space where. When a Kenyan talks about, you know, cosmetic shop, they talk about cosmetic store. When they talk about a makeup artist, they talk about Margaret. I just want to be a household name. I want my store to be a household name as well. A place I see myself in the next five, ten years is having a chain of cosmetic shop. I want to be an entrepreneur. I just don't want to be a makeup artist and settle there. Because I think at some point when you when I grow older, I probably won't be doing makeup anymore. I'll have employees doing, working for me. So I want to have like a chain of, of cosmetic shops and also even people working for me. I don't want to always like outsource uh, people when I'm working because like sometimes when I have like a bridal 
I'm doing for I'm going for bridal makeup I always have to outsource someone from outside so I have I, I hope I can be able to get someone who is like permanently working for me uh, most millennials out uh, most millennials fail when it comes to they just want overnight success they want to open a business today and tomorrow they are successful. They are also, um, most millennials look, uh, we like looking at our friends, what they are doing. If your friend have started a job and they tell you, you know, I started with one million. You also wait for yourself to save up to one million for you to start your dream. We forget that we are not following what others are doing. You have to follow your own path and excel in it and you have to keep learning you have to be disciplined so it's not a walk in the back you have to keep learning you have to be disciplined you have to work hard and you have to believe in yourself for other people who are looking to be makeup artists learn your skill if you have to go to class Go to class and learn all the skills you can get. Make sure that social media is your friend. Social media, Instagram, TikTok, make it your friend. You have to be there. Your presence has to be there all the time. Network. Network with people who are going to impact to you and also people who are going to be your clients. You can't, you can't actually think that your friends are going to be your clients because you'd be so surprised. Your friends are not going to be your clients. Maybe one or two or none. So you have to keep in mind your friends are not your clients. Clients are going to come, so you have to network, you have to know people who are already in this business and also people who are older than you because they are going to guide you and they are going to impact you in a very different way. So my parting shot, uh, I'm going to quote Ivy Africa. Uh, she said on one of her Instagram stories, uh, mentorship is the shortcut to success. So I live by that. My social media handles are cosmetica underst uh, underscore store. Uh, the numbers you can uh, you can DM us. You can call us on 0794 268 978.